Hey, what's up, YouTubers? It's a boy Alter Tech back again with a new freaking video. And today we have the OnePlus 7 Pro rocking Android 10. So, you guys know I did post a video earlier where I got the Pixel 3 rocking Android 10, but you know, surprise, surprise, the OnePlus 7 Pro is also getting Android 10. Now, it's open beta, and you can actually go ahead and download it. It would, the installation process was pretty easy. You might have an issue when it comes to moving your file. So I want you guys, once you have the file completely downloaded, open up your file manager, um, check on large files, look for the file, hold it, click copy. And once you have it copied, uh, just click internal storage and press paste. And then you're good. You just have to go to the settings. Now all you have to do is go into settings, scroll down to system, click on system updates, click on that gear icon, click on local upgrade, and you will find your file. So all you gotta do is click on this, click on install now. Now, if you're not happy with the Android 10 update, you could always go back. OnePlus has both files. They do have the Android Pi files and the Android 10 files available for download. Okay, so I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and see what differences we could find real quick. And first things first, I some things do look a little bit more different some new designs some new drawings or icons customization you know this is new i don't remember seeing this so system customization you can change uh it's a lot more illustrations which i do appreciate because sometimes when you're going through your phone you're trying to you know uh experiment with new things sometimes you're not sure what what does what there's just a whole bunch of words now you have some illustrations if you want to change the shapes what do you mean by shapes and so you know, you could change it into from a circle, square, teardrop, or maybe you want to change your icon pack. So what does that even mean? So, you know, go over here and, you know, play around with it. So let's see what else we have. I know the gestures are actually um, different now. So hopefully it's the same gestures as on the Pixel 3 because I'm a big fan of that. So, okay, here we go. Navigation gestures, left and right. Uh, the one I was using before was the navigation gestures at bottom. So if you want to go back, you got to swipe from the bottom up. Now all you need to do is swipe from the left or right. So for example, now I want to go back, swipe to your left, to the right. Okay, so let's say you want to go back into your recent apps. Uh, all you got to do is uh, swipe from the bottom up and hold it. And there you go. Pretty nice and smooth and simple. And let's say you want to go back to your home page, swipe down, up. There you go, pretty simple. Okay, so let's see what Android 10 brings to the table. So once you upgrade, you do have a brand new UI design. You have enhanced location permissions for privacy. New customization features in the settings, allowing you to choose icon shapes to be displayed in the quick settings. You have full screen gestures. You have a game space. So new game space feature now joins all your favorite games in one place for easier access and better gaming experience. You have smart display, supported intelligent info based on specific times, locations, and events for ambient display. So let me just go ahead and check that out real quick. And it is now possible to block spam by keywords for message. So you do have application compatibility issues and a low probability of system lag and stability issues. So let's go ahead and check out the smart display real quick so let's go into settings smart display ambient display right over here and let's see what we have you have smart display so tap on your screen to show your notifications intelligent info based on specific times location and events that's pretty interesting you do have your horizon light so for messages you could actually block by keywords so you could actually type in a keyword and it will block all those messages with that specific keyword. So that might be useful for some people. Anyways, uh, so I'm going to play around with this. And, you know, so far it's looking pretty good. Now, it doesn't seem to be that much of a, you know, overhaul in the design department. But overall, you know, there are some minor improvements which actually can make the world of a difference. For example, those gestures, which I'm a big fan of right now. So anyways, uh, this is Android 10. If you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know. This is Altertech signing off with the OnePlus 7 Pro. Hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. And shout out to OnePlus for actually implementing this uh, Android 10 update ASAP. I mean, it's very impressive to actually have a device that actually releases a software update on the same day as a Pixel device. So, anyways, this is Altertech signing out. Hope you guys have a great and wonderful night. Peace.